All right, welcome in to the latest episode of Five Reasons to Bet here on a Friday. We're going to get you ready for the weekend's NCAA games. we got our guy who's on a bit of a hot streak. That's not me. Ethan Skolnick, you can follow me at Five Reasons Sports and at Ethan J. Skolnick. But we've got J-Rod Show, Jim Rodriguez, right here with us. He's going to go through his picks again. Before we do, I want to tell you something we've been negligent about as well. You get a 20% sign-up bonus if you go to BUSR.com backslash 5RSN. That's the number 5RSN. 20% sign-up bonus. Also, 100% free play bonus if you deposit crypto. So if you're making money on that crypto, you deposit crypto, you get 100% bonus. Make sure you go to BUSR.com. Let's get to some of these tournament games here real quick. Georgetown was a huge story. They didn't know who Patrick yep. Ewing was at Madison Square <laughs> Garden. Uh, now they know who he is. Um, he led them to an upset win in the Big East tournament. Now you're taking a look at them playing against a pretty decent team here. Who do you like? Well, it's funny because when you talk about the NCAA tournament, it's you know the the, the corner uh, prognosticator, the guy at the barbershops. Hey, there's tons of upsets. There's always going to be upsets. That's not really true. But mm -hmm. what I did, I found four valuable possible upsets where you can get those points to help you even if they lose they'll still they'll still cover so there's georgetown a 12 seed against colorado a five georgetown's getting six and a half remember big east champions they won the tournament colorado can't match up with patrick ewing's team they can't match up inside georgetown can go get the ball on each end of the floor they're tough they're gritty they're going to bully them i think georgetown's going to win the game outright wow. but they're definitely going to cover that six and a half all right, I'm going to give you uh, – well, I'll get to this one in a second. Before, I'm going to give you a little heat about another one. But there's a big underdog going up against a Big Ten team, Grand Canyon. I, I don't even think that most people knew that Grand Canyon actually was a school. But they're playing Iowa. They're getting, what, 14 and a half points as we speak here at BUSR.com. Again, backslash 5RSN. But you think they got a chance to cover this thing? Absolutely. Listen, this is Bryce Drew. They've got a head coach who has been to the tournament. They've got a head coach who knows what they're doing. I think the school is only like nine years old, but they've got two huge dudes. They've got a seven footer and a six ten guy in the middle. They plug it up. They grab rebounds. They keep the game close. Listen, I don't think Iowa's going to lose this game. They'll go crazy at the airliner in Iowa City, but 14 and a half. Two touchdowns? I'd even take the Dolphins at getting two touchdowns. I'll take Grand Canyon covering those 14 and a half. And by the way, by the way, money line, almost nine to one on Grand Canyon to win the game. Don't be a cheap bastard. Put down 10 bucks, get 100 bucks out of it. Go Grand Canyon. I don't think you would take the Dolphins with their receivers last year, maybe with their receivers this year. All right, I'm going to give you some heat on this one, though. Creighton. You went to Creighton. Do you like me or a Blue Jay, although I'm a, I'm a Johns Hopkins Blue Jay or a Creighton Blue Jay, uh, but you are not picking Creighton. Well, Is that yes, correct? yes and no. I also, I'm also a California kid, man, and I drank, right. I drank many, you know, I went down to Santa Barbara, went up to Santa Barbara many an afternoon before, you know, that's where I got my drinking leg. That's where I got my, my, my resume was forged in Santa Barbara. Listen, the Gauchos are getting seven against Creighton after that debacle that Creighton pulled in the Big East Championship against Georgetown. And there's still the, the, the cloud of the racist comments that the head coach made. We still don't know what kind of team Creighton is. They made a little run. I thought they got gotten over the top. I think the Jays win. I think Creighton wins the game. But I'll take the Gauchos getting seven. And by the way, that'll be tacos for everybody, man. Little fish tacos in Santa Barbara? Yes. Oh. Man, when you get tacos, it's not even on a Tuesday. All right, let's get to this one. You liked this team before. You won with them. You liked Drake. Now they're the beat Wichita State. Now they're going up against another California school, correct? Yeah. Uh, my, how, do my, you, how, how do you think this one plays out? My hometown Trojans. I'm not. I see, by the way, when you gamble, it's it's all about me. I went against my alma mater, my my hometown <laughs> SC Trojans. Listen, Drake is the GameStop of betting. They were they are 21 and six against the spread. Okay, and now they're getting points. This team started 18 and 0. They went on that horrific drought last night against Wichita State. They're not going to do it again. And I think they'll win the game, but they'll keep it close. They're going to stay close. This is the tournament. Everybody plays close games. Plus six, I'll take it. That's value. I'll take Drake getting six points. They never get points. Why not? All right. So here's who they like. Georgetown, all getting points. Georgetown, Grand Canyon, uh, UCSB, and Drake. Those are the four picks going into Saturday. And throw some money on Grand Canyon's money line. It's almost nine to one. Yeah, why not? I mean, Throw the Bitcoin on there, right? Yeah. I mean, who knows what that's going to be worth someday. A little doge. 
again, right, exactly. 20%. And now you sound like the Tesla guy. 20% 20% sign up bonus if you go to busr.com backslash 5RSN. Thanks, Jim. We'll be back on Monday. After get it, get it, kids. Get it, get it.